Hey, orange one here, and look at this. Look at that high definition textures. I upgraded my computer, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I'm super excited. Oh man, it took so long. But we're finally here on the other end, and I have all my save games. Managed to do that. I did it pretty much all on my own, and I'm pretty excited about it, but... Oh man, it was so stressful. It's been it's been a long long week. I'll tell you more about it once we get the episode up and running. Let's figure out some goals for our hivers. I think you guys were trying to get some cybernetics and get the sake industry going, right? Okay, so that's full. We've got rice weed. Basically, it's all rice weed and there's some hydroponic vegetables. Oh yeah, we're researching sake distillation, so that that should get going pretty soon. Um, now the question is, wasn't there... I think it's been a while since I was actually playing this. I think we had a full set of robotic limbs between everyone. Oh, also, yeah, I've got my frames up there. If you haven't noticed that already. We got a right... Two legs and a left or no a right really kind of weird hold on two legs right leg arm right so they have everything that they need we have a left arm or am i just crazy okay i'm just crazy and we already knew that right so we got our peeler here. We do have all the limbs that we need to make someone uh, a robotic person. Let's see, who should we do that to? Kind of feel like we could do that to Pet. I think how Pet is most definitely going to be on the front line. Uh oh, we got a blooded raid coming our way. Pet's most definitely gonna be. Um, on the front line in the the war against the um, the major factions that we're at war with. Oh come on! I guess we're gonna have to put this down then for now. Hopefully we remember that. Uh, Igor, you're gonna have to go put pet in. I know we kind of should be doing this more with like an actual hiver, but I kind of feel like the hive would um, not enjoy this, but I mean it is a human and they've not been too kind to us. I mean, Pet is our friend though, so <laughs> I don't think they would be enjoying this too much. Yeah, so anyways, long story short, uh, I tried to play Bannerlord, wasn't working freaked out quite a bit um or i tried to play the the test the uh enhanced battle mod thing it uh kind of worked but it was extremely slow and obs couldn't handle doing that and the game and um i'm not sure if it was the mod or the actual game but i'm pretty sure it is the actual game is going to be too much with all the AI running around. My CPU just couldn't handle it, you know? So yeah. By the time this is probably uploaded, I'm probably going to have some Bannerlord stuff up about it, but oh man, the build was a long process. Um, I, I mean, I looked at everything online, had a pretty good idea of what I wanted to do, and I wanted to reuse as much of my old parts as possible. Unfortunately, the motherboard that I got it was DDR4, and my old ones were DDR3, I believe, uh, for the RAM. So I did end up um, upgrading that. Okay, come on, pet. You're like, you need some new RAM over there. Uh, everyone keeps on healing you, which is going to make this take longer, but I think it will work. All these limbs will pop off at the same time. As long as these don't start bleeding, we're okay. But you're not going to be able to fight for a while. Maybe let's... Yeah, guys, stop stop healing, pet, please. I do kind of want those limbs to pop off before you get in the 
the straight up negatives. Just heal up those main torsos, that's fine. Nope. We don't need any more of that. Okay, they're gonna start popping off any second. Um, go ahead, pick up pet. Why? There we go. It wasn't giving me the right option there to put her down. Um, where is pet? I just want to make sure that you don't actually bleed out. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, cool. And then you guys weren't actually fighting. That was probably just like Fogman or whatever running by. Uh, what's going on with that raid? A blooded raid? I think we could probably take a blooded raid. I'm gonna let them just come to us and if we... If it ends up, you know, completely blowing up in our faces, then it completely blows up in our faces. Oh, we lost the ability to wear boots. How interesting. Um, I did not remember that. Okay, who's got those robotic limbs? Redmane. Go give those to Pet. Where are you, Redmane? Oh, were you? What were you doing? Oh, you had bought those and you were coming back to base. I remember now. I also, unfortunately, now that I don't have my second monitor because um, I don't have the right cables to connect it to my um, computer. So I need to start keeping track of how long I've been recording for. I don't know if you're gonna all see this or not because, again, I haven't set this up properly. I think you probably will. Sorry. Uh, about seven minutes. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I might do that a few more times. You might see that pop up just so that I can see how, how long I've been recording for. I usually do that on my second monitor, so you, it's like, yeah, you don't even have to worry about it, right? Hey, okay, Redmain, why don't you go trade with Pet? And then who was the other person who had Robotic Limb Feta? Why don't you come over as well? And then, here we go. Do your new, new limbs there, pet. Hopefully, you'll uh, not just instantly die when we go and try and fight Catlon. I've also got half of a mind to try and um, befriend the United Cities just so that we've got more places to find pacifiers. But at the same time, I kind of feel like we've, we've evolved past an economy. Like, we don't really need the economy of the world to survive. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see, how's this doing? We got a little cooking bench. Uh, we could probably cook... Um, what's it that you cook from the rice? A rice bowl? We could probably do that. Let's, let's do some cooked veg, because this should get going any second now. Jack, I don't understand why you do this. Because that stuff's like dying, essentially. Because you're not watering it, because you're overwatering this one thing. It's very strange. I, I don't really understand why he does that. Because you do have like that assigned to you as well. In any case, we're, we're about to have a whole lot of rice weed. So we need to get the sake production up and going. Um, let's see. And I know I do want to attack more things as well. Don't worry. We're going to go for Catlon. That's how we're going to end this series. Um, that's what I'm thinking. But we got to get ready for that. I'm not charging in. Not ready. Um, the, what was it that I was doing? The food? Yeah, a sake still. That'd be perfect right here. If it lets me. Bar over as you'll let me. There we go. And I think who was it? It was Jack who was gonna stay here, so we need to take everyone besides Jack and I don't know. Head home. Or head down. No, we'll, we'll keep the crew up here because we're going to get more of those um, 
more of those goods, uh, those robotic limbs. Speaking of which, Jazz, I was sending you down. I now, I, you know, ten something minutes into the episode, I just remembered we had you out on an adventure. You're in vain. Oh yeah, the game probably also looks a whole lot better because all the view distances are cranked like way up. So you remember like before, like the vegetation would go to like there. Look how far the vegetation is going for me now. Going pretty far, I and mean, you can still see the lines, but they are a lot less apparent. I'm pretty excited. I've also played Into the Breach with this, and that looks pretty nice. Um, I am scared of overclocking. I'm not like the most tech savvy person, and I don't want to overclock. But God, I just want something that's going to display like my temperatures and fan speeds. And I thought that like the GeForce Experience had that in there, but I, for the life of me, I can't figure it out. And so I put GeForce Experience and um, AMD Master on my computer, and then I like immediately freaked out because people were saying this is overclocking. There was like warnings on both of them saying like if you overclock your system, you void your warranties. And it's just like, wait, hold on. I don't want to overclock my system. Just like, tell me what's going on with the like frame rates and stuff. I don't know, was it the experience? No, it wasn't the experience that was changing the settings, was it? I can't remember. In any case, it was asking me to do some stuff where I was like, I'm uncomfortable with this. You know? Okay, Jazz. Let's see if they let the bone man in. Yep, not even... A little, little conversation there. The stone golem. And I'd have taken a hundred okran dogs with me. Yeah, well see, that's your problem. As a shek, is that you just want to take out as many of the enemies as possible and there's no self-preservation, right? You can't win a war if you're all dead, is all I'm saying. Um, what's the, the quote? Uh, I'm like, I think it's General MacArthur. Where, he, I don't know, I'm not gonna swear, but he says, you know, it's not the, the poor so-and-so who uh, who wins the war by dying for his country but the one who kills for his country so it's like yeah sure like take out the enemy but you gotta take care of yourself you know okay so we just got a good amount of cash there I think if we just kind of had a rolling wheel of um, trade going on oh these guys Tech hunters don't like us. Looking at Jazz a little funny there. We might want to get out of town. <laughs> All I'm saying. That was not a very friendly look that we got there. Okay, we'll try one more. I think we should probably head back. Okay, so we'll do like that. Yeah, probably by the time you get back to Mongrel, the stores will be reset. So I think we should probably send him back. He did get quite a bit of cash there, though. He does also need more grog, was the other thing that I was considering there. I'll send you back north. And then... How, how close are we to that group being near our base? We go down there. Eh, they're not really close at all. Oh, they're up there. Okay. Eh, they're not too far. That's around the time that we amb place that we ambushed them last time. Okay, so yeah, pet, you're gonna be recovering for a while. But it's pretty cool that you're full on robot now. Um, Redmane, why don't you run back over and see if you can get more robotic limbs there. I'm excited to see what RNG's got for us. Um, yeah, I've kind of given up on the whole our industry thing. I mean, at this point, 
with this game. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna end up playing other games on the channel. Um, because of the new graphics card and there's a number of good things that have came out recently and so I'm kind of like, well, I could invest more time and energy into getting this place to actually run <laughs> properly, but I don't know if I will, you know. Um, how are we doing with that? There's no green fruit? Really? Huh. Maybe that's because we don't have enough water for all of them? Because I thought I saw, and I could be wrong, I thought I saw something about that. Uh, can we get rid of this and just do the rice bowl? Because I'm pretty sure we've got rice. I would like to do the veg. Um, oh, that all needs water. How are, you, how are we doing on this, Southern Farmer? Can I... Give you these three hydroponics and tell you they need to be higher priority because I think the the rice is a, a really good staple for us um, and then we probably need to build more things of water because I think that is their limiting reactant here like I said I'm not too bothered about doing that um, red main yeah you're just running so yeah, I basically over like I I ordered all the parts for the computer. And um let's just put another well down. I'll put another two down. Um and I ordered everything, but I didn't order RAM because I thought I had one that would work and it didn't work and I was reading over the instructions luckily before I actually tried to build things and figured it out and then Corona comes by and I can't get it. Like I can't order it. I ended up going down to Best Buy and doing the curbside pickup to get one, but like I waited probably like three or four days without having access to a computer and I was a little worried this banner alert's coming up but it all worked out you know um I was also thinking and tell me what your thoughts are on this of just doing like a full on like uh cribs episode of our bases you know <laughs> like how funny would that be would you guys like to see that like a Yo, check out my hydroponic uh, rice wheat setup and check out my corridor of death gate. <laughs> Just blasting some gangster music while that's all going down. Um, your operating machine, how are you doing? You're aimless. Well, that probably means that you're out of spaces to put things, huh? Well, why don't you put that down? And then, looks like we're gonna need. We're producing way too many motors. Where are the motors being produced? That here. Um, maybe we need to do another robotics components. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes, setup-wise. At least we got another nice-ish leg. These other things aren't being worked on because we need said components. Which is a shame. And everyone's just running. There must have been food. Yep. <laughs> As you grabbed the rice bowl. <laughs> first come, first serve. Sorry, motorist. You're about to starve to death. <laughs> but Ezia doesn't care about that. Um, actually, you know what we could do? We could do a little food run. Let's see, who's who's at the copper mine? Yeah. Because you guys have enough food, don't you? Yeah, you've got an excess of food. You just have someone run over there with the food. Jig, seeing how you're not even working right now, load up on that. Alright, load up on that while the game is paused so you don't do anything too ridiculous. 
And then, sure, take an electrical component. That, oh, we actually, we've cleared out all the electrical components? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. And how's Jazz doing on his run? He's still going, good. And then I'm sure the sake is ready to be made. But I don't, I bet like Jack's not doing Jack right now. I still got it, still got those bad jokes. Uh, water. Oh, do you not have the capacity for that right now? No, you don't. Well, this should be interesting. We're gonna start making some sake. I, how fast does this go? I think the grog's pretty darn fast. We're gonna need to get you a proper backpack. Actually, you know what? While Jack's doing that, everyone besides Pet, we're gonna go get ourselves some backpacks. So let's go ahead and I think there's some people that would have backpacks that we could go attack. Um, definitely around here there's there's like Western Hive people and down there. And we could go into the swamps as well. But yeah, I, I hear ya. Don't worry, I definitely hear ya. We need to get into some more uh, kick butt action, right? Okay, 21 minutes. Okay. Okay, Google, set a 10 minute timer. You gonna do it or what? <laughs> this is the one time when I'm actually talking to you on purpose. And you're not understanding what I just said. Great. Alright, well, I'll just have to remember in about 10 minutes to stop. I'm not used to having to do that. I can see this going very poorly. Yeah, things are working pretty well right now. Is that... What is that? Um, an empty little campsite. Yeah, I just am trying to keep my eyes out for uh, that. That light right there. That, to me, looks like that's a trade caravan. I don't know if it's Nomads, trades, Traders Guild, or possibly Western Hive, but I'm gonna attack it. Oh man, I thought that the game was at like a normal speed. I was like, what on earth is that moving so fast? Uh, um, no backpacks. That is a shame. Sorry, give me a second. Very cool. That's how the GP GPU is doing. I've set up the LEDs on the inside of the case to be different temperatures depending on the temperatures of my components. Just, you know, just to kind of see. Um, seeing how I don't have the temperature monitoring programs up right now, because I can't figure that out. Um, hold on. Igor, go gore out their eyes. Why don't you just get a little bit of extra meat there? Yeah, we're just gonna try and get some backpacks. We're gonna just go be like bandits. You know, I haven't really done that, the bandit playthrough with Kenshi. I mean... In my mind, <laughs> this is more like a terrorist organization. The Kenshi Hivers only free hive than bandits. I mean... We're kind of like bandits, but like, we can overthrow like world powers. So, there's that, <laughs> you know. But like having to like hide, and like being hiding in the woods and stuff from like powerful people, that's got an appeal to me. You know, like a serious appeal. Does the Western Hive spawn in this biome? I know I, a lot of people said they really like Shem, and I've seen a lot of people in Let's Plays use this because it's a good biome, it's central, and there's a lot of good uh, random spawns like beak things, or like food. But I just want a backpack. Like, 
honestly. I'd kill for a backpack. I mean, that's actually quite literally what we're about to do. We're gonna go kill people and steal their backpacks. Because, yeah. People don't like me. Um, can I not go through the Screaming Forest? I really like to avoid that place. Pretty awful. Pretty awful biome. It looks like this road's gonna cut through though, so it is gonna get a little loud. Who else would have backpacks? I mean, the slave traders would, but I don't want to get shot by slave traders. And we could go into the um, city of Shark. They might have someone. I don't know. Does the travel? Do they have a travel shop? And does the travel shop have like backpacks? Because I feel like the backpacks that they would have there are gonna be like the. Um, like the box one. The one that's like quite literally just like a box. Okay, are we in a new biome? Are we gonna get a new message or what? I know that I've seen um, Western Hive here wandering around this city. No, we're not in the burning forest. Wrong, guess again. Uh, have a look. Not seeing any traders in the horizon. Still not seeing anything. Yeah, it definitely helps having the longer view distance looking for people. You know, instead of me going, is that just me not being able to tell what's going on or what? Okay, the blood raid is here. I think that's probably a good thing to start the next episode with, so I'm not going to jump to that. They'll wait for me um, till I uh, actually am ready when I'm actually loaded up in that area to attack. That's why you're seeing there's no uh, flashing red lights right now. Hey, what is that? That looks to me like a trade caravan. Could be uh, nomads. Looks like nomads, judging by the amount of animals that they have. Yeah. Nomads. Any backpacks? Doesn't look like they have any backpacks. That makes sense. Why would they be carrying backpacks when they've got pack animals, right? Yeah, why don't we go over there? We'll just come down, see if we can find Western Hive people. Is that Western Hive? It is! Oh man! They've got stats in the 70s as well. I mean, they're gonna crush us, I'm pretty sure. But Igor will crush a lot of them. Like, Igor will rip and tear pretty effectively, I've got a feeling, against these guys. No shops out here for miles. Yeah. This might be a really bad idea. Well, we'll start the next episode off with attacking these guys and then doing the blooded raid as well. You know, it, it's going to be painful, but we'll see. Um, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.